It's only Robin with Oxy Dry. And uh, today I'm uh, I actually found a whole pile of uh, old advertising. I used to collect advertising to uh, study and to uh, compare to get ideas for marketing. And I actually found a whole pile of stuff that I didn't realize I had in this uh, filing cabinet um, sitting here in my garage. I forgot I'd put it all there, organized it. Anyway, I'm going to run through and I'm going to show you anyone who, uh, if you want to watch this, um, this will be possibly interesting because this goes back 20 or more years, some even longer than that, I guess. And maybe it'll give, give you some ideas. It'll just certainly be interesting history. Um, but um, I'll just run through. I'll go through fairly quickly and I'll try to make sure that I hold the, the um, ad in front of the camera. So if you want to freeze it, and take a look at what you're seeing if you're, something catches your eye. And I'll have commentary on some other stuff. I know this guy, he um, was operating in Kelowna a few years back. Um, had it two or three vehicles. This is 96. So uh, he was a real cheap guy. <laughs> Basically, all he wanted to do was try to pick up anybody's coupon and use that to get in the door. Um, he's always been that way of doing things, I guess you could say. Um, A1, that's out of Victoria. This is ChemDry, information on ChemDry. Of course, this was back when they were bonnet cleaning. And we'll get to that in a minute, I think. Blue Ribbon, that's in Victoria. I don't know who they are. That was They're not even there anymore, I'm sure. I'm not sure who the heck this is. Um... Dries in minutes. Hmm. I wonder if he's using the host system. I don't really know. I can't remember. Um, blue ribbon again. Blue ribbon. This is a brochure that you could, or whatever, a door hanger you could get from uh, Hydra Master. You could buy those and stamp your own business name on there. Here's a typical, uh, this is a really bad idea. Um, first rule of advertising is where your competitors are. Don't go and smack yourself up right beside them. And especially if all you got to offer is just another lowball pricing. Because your price shoppers will play off of you. And uh, that won't work. That's not marketing. That, that's just advertising. That's the difference. Sanitech. He uh, was a high-end guy in Victoria. He got started off doing actually a lot of, um, um, he got a kind of an exclusive contract for the largest property management company in Victoria and did all their empty apartments, which were quite a few every month. And then of course the buildings. Stematic, that's a Victoria uh, company. That opens up. More information for you. If you find that's helpful. And uh, heaven's best. Spring is sprung. The grass is risen. I wonder where the carpet cleaner is. Okay, that's cheesy. <laughs> uh, stematic. Um, stematic duct cleaning. House freshness. It's not a bad looking ad, I guess. Um, that's a fairly expensive brochure, though. Full color, heavy paper. This is another uh, Hydra Master brochure you could buy from them, and then you just put your own name on it. Um, on the back, you stamp it. That's Budget Carpet Care, whom I will be coming across in a minute. Um, Stematic. Penticton. Oh, I forgot they were in Penticton. Hmm, okay. Ooh, okay. Oh, that's right, they were. I can now remember, yeah. Hmm. They were in Victoria, too. And then they kind of disappeared from Penticton. I think they tried to sell and then nobody bought them. Um, here we have ChemDry again. Um... They don't use this thing anymore. 
there's their drunken carpet fibers. <laughs> um, comparing the methodologies. And of course, this was back when they were still bonnet cleaning. And they used to really be totally anti-steam cleaning. And then they became steam cleaners and all of a sudden, well, they don't say they're not steam. They don't, they won't admit they're steam cleaners. They call themselves hot carbonating extraction. They will not admit they're steam cleaners. Um, Pure Country, this was a, a guy that actually was in Summerland, which is just north of Penticton. He primarily did Penticton, of course, the bigger, bigger area. He didn't take care of his van. He got a new van, and within a few years, his bumper was all rusted out. He didn't even bother keeping it clean. Amazing. Uh, oh, DuraClean. Um, let's see. Where's the front of this thing? Well, I guess that's it. Okay. And then you open it up. Talks about on location drapery cleaning. There's their rather interesting looking machine. Talk about their furniture cleaning and they do carpeting too. Uh, they were a franchise that was around about, I guess, 15 or 20 years ago. Here's another brochure of theirs. This is talking about um, ceiling cleaning. Which was really promoted about 20 years ago or so, I guess. Um, hmm. Anyway, here's a budget ad. This is out of Penticton. I actually ran this company for about a year and a half um, in uh, oh, 91, I guess. It's when I first moved to the Okanagan. And uh, um, I was hired by the owner. And anyway, that was a long time ago. Uh, there, there's a um, carpet tech. He's out of uh, Penticton. I think he's still around. The Heaven's Best is in Pentic Penticton. They're gone now. Oh, Insta Dry. Don't know anything about this guy. Oh, um, oh yeah, Hal Ham Al Hammerton out of uh, Summerland. That's right. Um, he was around for a few years and he's using the host dry powder system. Um, and tip blooming carpets because I ran into a few of that in in um, Summerland and uh, um, Orchard Valley Chem Dry. They were around for a few years, um, and uh, they eventually um, they tried to sell and they couldn't find a buyer and they just closed up. And I kind of think I had a little bit, to, maybe a lot to do with that. <laughs> uh, anyway. Um, all Pro, they were around for quite a few years They with two vans. Now they only have one. I rarely see them. This is um, kind of a, in a coupon thing, I guess. Uh, have his best again. $19 per room. Minimum is $25. $25? Are you serious? <laughs> oh, boy. Uh, Stomatic. That would be... Uh, that's 98. Um, um, budget. Uh, he bought into the, um, they call it the Prana Marketing thing. Uh, and, uh, yeah. There's his value package. Then the gold service package. He's still operating. He bought out. He bought the business that I had been running. That was long after I, I left a, a, a couple of years ago. Later, I guess, because um, I went back to Victoria. Uh, Heaven's best system care, care cleaning services. I have no idea who these guys are. Um, I think I found the one brochure one time or whatever you want to call that flyer, and never seen them since. One country out of uh, I think it was in Penticton. He came and went. Fiber Master. Um, again, another one that sort of appeared and then disappeared pretty quickly. Uh, another Heaven's Best. Fiber Master. Two, um, 2000. Oh, 
Something over here. Uh, little tips on to getting out stains. Okay. Uh, Carpet Tech. He's the guy. He's in Penticton. Or, um... Oh, oh that's uh, Fiber Master again. Carpet Tech. Um, his brochure now starts to look like mine. In fact, um, he's, um, these places where it's underlined, these were um, taken word for word out of my brochures. He was copying me, even the, w the way this is laid out, because I have a th trifold brochure, which I've been using for many years, and so he was kind of copying my style, which is, well, whatever, doesn't matter. <laughs> And uh, and then he has a little blurb about how his method is better because the low moisture or dry methods uh, not effective. <laughs> anyway, whatever. Uh, so tips on something. Uh, Servco. They were around for many years. They were in Penticton when I arrived there. Um, Ivan has since passed on. I'm not sure if his wife is still around, but they were one of the oldest op operators in Penticton. He was actually really bad at what he did. <laughs> um, that was the best. Um, and again, here, these guys kind of copied my trifold brochure thing because I was the first one that did it. Um... Yeah. And there you go. Uh, another one from uh, Budget. That's a single page. Another one from Budget is... Uh, oh, here he... Um, this is a really... Just a... Not a very good setup at all. I'm not sure how you would really use this effectively. And he put his certifications on the back. I really don't think people care about that. But whatever. And dry extra. Oh, now we're calling ourselves hot carbonating extraction. Because um, this is the operation out of... I uh, uh, actually think they operate out of Vernon. There's budget again. Um, I have no idea. Well, that was EnviroDry. This is a just a terrible little flyer. Very unimaginative. No, people just throw that away. You got to have some more creativity than that. Here's a carpet cleaning ad here in this. I guess this is a paper. Capital Carpet Care. Uh, budget again. Carpet cleaning offer. Who's a super steamer? The carpet cleaner. I, I like their name. Their name was good, but they were on for a couple of years in, in Penticton and uh, quickly got a bad reputation. And then within about two years, they were gone. Uh, this is when um, um, the company budget was bought out by Steve, who's the guy with the other ads you've seen. Uh, so he bought it out and uh, away he went still operating this ad is actually for a rental machine but I thought the uh, there were some things about it I thought were kind of interesting of course it goes actually like, like that and then when you open it up look at that that's kind of it's kind of cute eh? so I thought that was an interesting ad uh, budget again dynamic Victoria zone uh, no idea anything about these guys they appeared and disappeared uh, there's another ad of theirs. Oh, it's a bigger one. Oh, okay. So same thing, only bigger. Hmm. Yeah, that actually reminds me of Success Carpet Cleaning. That um, they were around in Victoria. They morphed into a restoration company. Jeff, something or other. Can't remember his last name. Nice guy. 
DuraClean building maintenance. And DuraClean was a franchise, was around a few years ago. Um, so they were not just carpet cleaning, but uh, doing all kinds of stuff here. Oop. I think I have some more information about them coming up. Oh, there's a thing for them. That's for the, to prove that the protector works. That's been done by others before. Oh, why you should clean your carpets with ChemDry. ChemDry. So there's some information on that. Uh, mm -hmm. And of course this is when they were using the bonnet system. Mm -hmm. And there you go. And what have we got here? Woodward's. Oh, that was supposed to be in that pile over there. <laughs> anyway, uh, Woodward's in-home cleaning. Uh, this is uh, a success, which I think was originally started as dynamic, and then he changed to success, and, and there's Jeff. <laughs> he actually, I think he was in Victoria initially, and then he moved to Summerland. Uh, oh, look at this. Canadian Tire Carpet Cleaning. Isn't that amazing? For those of you who don't know, Canadian Tires is actually a, a kind of a big store in, in uh, Canada. They sell all kinds of housewares, mostly. And all, oh, just all kinds of junk. And then they did carpet cleaning for a bit. In f yeah. Anyway, doesn't matter. A1, another carpet cleaning company in Victoria. Um, Permadry. Um, I'm not sure what method they were using. Uh, chem dry again. The carbonated carpet cleaner. Customer, blah blah blah. This is still when they were owned by Harris Research, I guess. And that they sold. I can't remember who bought them. Uh, the, oh, Dramatic. I thought that was a good name, Dramatic. Uh, this is using the host system, powder system. That's in Victoria. They were around for a little while. Another uh, ad for Dramatic. Uh, this is a Hydro Master brochure. Oh, no, it's not. <laughs> I thought it was. Uh, obviously not. Chem dry. And interesting, that looks like the machine that the uh, Dura, Dura Clean guys was using. Interesting. Never realized that. So there's some information there. Hmm. And uh, more information. Uh, good glare there. I don't know if you can read that. No. Uh, there we go. Yeah, this is actually, this is Hydromaster. Hydro you can buy these door hangers to put your name on it. Oh boy, what do we got here? Fourth free carpet cleaning. Hmm. Interesting. I have no idea who that is. There's no name there. Uh... This is a, 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 a area rug cleaning plant, Peter Tolliday. Uh, heaven's best. Spend a little bit of money with this brochure. Okay. Oh, there it is. It. Right there it says, it gently, ch the pad, talk about the, the pad, it gently churns down between each yarn. Churning, wow. Wow, is that what you do with when you make butter? <laughs> That's a bad word. <laughs> I wouldn't have used that word. Oh, boy. 
Chem Dry, the natural. And that one's hard to read. I can hardly read that. I don't know if you can see that with the camera. If you want to read that. There we go. That's a bit better, eh? Anyway. Um, all clean. Interesting. No idea who that is. Oh. I think I dropped something here. Then what do we got here? Oh, another budget ad. More of the same. Uh, if you're noticing, most of these are not really all that creative. Um, this was actually, they used this one, this ad, I think smaller, as a new, um, yellow page ad for a while there. Um, I'll get that out. That's actually. Um, yellow page stuff over there. I was going to show that separately. What have we got here? Oh, heaven's best. Um, who is this? CNC building maintenance. Uh huh. But there's carpet cleaning. Oh, hmm, interesting. That's interesting. $20 per room. First two rooms, $10 per additional room. Wow. That's cheap. <laughs> interesting. Um, okay, I was going to... I'll do... A, uh, I wasn't going to do the phone book ads. So I was going to put them over here. Out of the way. But we've got to add here somewhere, right? This is not a phone book ad. This is oh, there we are. Carpet Dying in Rainbow International. That's a that I don't know if they're still around, but that was a, a franchise, and they would dye and clean carpets. How about that? Okay. Um, coupon book. Oh. There we go. Zellers. In home service. How about that, eh? Wouldn't be surprised if there's another carpet cleaner in here. No, it's not. Put that over there. A Forda Pro. Oh, I don't know who they are. Oh. An auto cleaning service. Oh. Hmm. Interesting. What do you know? Everybody getting it, getting into it, eh? Uh, budget? Yep. Budget again. Okay, so this is, uh, here we have uh, success carpet cleaning up here. This is all in the same, this was like a, a, a they used this as like it had uh, two pages to it, and then they put a bunch of um, flyers and stuff in between, and then you could advertise on the outside. But here we got one. Two, three, four carpet cleaners right here. Because this guy was in here as well. Just on, I think it was on the other other page. I mean, that is just really stupid. That you would, that's a bad, that, that's what you call advertising. That's not marketing. Um, hmm. That's interesting. Not sure why it says Spanish Villa there. That's kind of weird. <laughs> and what do we got here? Success. Uh, that's uh, Jeff McCallum's uh, brother. So there was the two of them. Oh, we have two of these things here. Um, all over the place. Interesting. And. Uh, they used to be um, advertised nineteen ninety five a room. Uh, phone book ad. Um, what do we got here? Um, 
something in here. Oh, circle carpet care in there. This was a, um, an advertising thing with IGA where they would give out these um, shopping lists so that people could tick off what they were needing to get. And of course, you, they would sell advertising space. That's why, that's why this is here, or and the other ads too. So they approached me and I said no, <laughs> not interested. Uh, budget. A um, little more info. I don't. What does it say? I don't cut the corners. I clean them. Okay. And like that's not been used before, eh? Heaven's best. Uh, talks about the system. Um, this is actually not a really good thing at all, in my opinion. It's really just very unimaginative. Perma touch. Um, I um, don't know where he is, or was. Oh, we got carpet tech again. Uh huh. Crown carpet care. Oh, interesting. Oh, look at that ad, eh? That's like way too um, overdone. Oh, he was in he was in Penticton. I remember this guy. He was a real character, that guy. You all. Um, this is the guy I bought my uh, PB3 from. And his wife passed away about five years ago or so. They did it all together, and he's a nice guy. Um, but um, he tried to sell the business, and nobody nobody would buy it. But eventually, I bought his PB3 and his rotary off him and some other stuff. Uh, who is this? Ace. Oh, I knew, I, I knew this guy. He was a friend of mine. I haven't seen him in 10 years or more now. Hmm. 99. Another Heaven's Best brochure. Um, nothing new there. Hmm. Oh, look at that. Interesting. The Penticton Operation is the first in Canada. It is the flagship fan franchise for the country. He, he only lasted about three years, I think, and he went out of business. I don't know if there's any... Um, um, heaven's best franchises around in Canada anymore, but they were trying to get in here and it didn't happen. I guess uh, I can tell you why. We weren't making a living. System care carpet cleaning. Um, okay, that's really hard to see. Um, because they're really not focusing on, they're trying to, they're trying, advertising as a coupon, but they're not, you're not able to even see really very clearly what the, what you're actually paying. So that's a, a bad idea, but whatever. Um, what is this? Nationwide. That was out of Victoria. And they're in the mainland as well. Uh, that, that would be Vancouver area. Um, who else we got here? Clean Pro. Hmm, I have no idea who that is. But that's in Kelowna. That's a Kelowna number. Don't remember him at all. Servco out of uh, Penticton, 99. Oh, that's another budget ad. This is... Uh, Newspaper, or phone book, I mean, and, uh, oh, crown, there's a little, in the paper, crown carpet care, that probably didn't do very much work, work get him very much work at all, it's virtually invisible, serve co again, crown again, oh, that's uh, yellow pages, dual cleaners again, He's, he was using a bonnet cleaning. Um, yellow pages. Um, oh, and now he's got the improved system. That's budget. Nationwide. 
Uh, Servco again. Service Master. Yeah, they're in, well, they're in a lot of places. Uh, who we got here? Circle. Right there. And uh, first choice. Um, hmm. I think I know this guy. Hmm. Anyway. Nationwide again. Who's this? Super Steamer, the carpet cleaner. I like the name. Um, they were only around for a couple of years and, well, they just really did lousy work. Okanagan Carpet Cleaning, they're around for quite a while. I don't think they're around anymore. Service Master. Oh. Isn't that nice? Pictures. Yeah. Um, all clean. Yep. This is, uh, oh, here we are on the back. Servco on the back of this uh, coupon kind of a thing. So, there you go. Carpet Tech again. Oh, there's his small print, I guess, eh? The roses, this is Duraclean, right? There's rose. Yeah, there you go. Duraclean foam absorption. Hmm. I don't know much about these guys, but they were around for a while. Um, and Super Steamer, the carpet cleaner. First choice. Um, this is another one of those shopping things. Uh, what do we got here? Time Global. That was in Victoria. They came out of nowhere, and all of a sudden, there they were, advertising in the paper. Okay, what have we got here? Serve coal again. Serve coal again. Um, what's this one? This is nationwide, okay. Okay. Another um, budget. Oh, yeah. Oh, he's got, this is a little bit different. Not as much the same, but it changes things a little bit now and then. But these are really bad. I don't know how, how you could even... Uh, you can't really deliver these. They're to the wrong size, the wrong shape, and everything, but whatever. Heaven's best. I've, <laughs> it's a goofy picture, right? Eh? <laughs> we got budget again. Most thorough cleaning ever, or it's free. Uh, that's not a good idea. <laughs> Should never say that. Ever. Mm -hmm. And uh, we're getting near the end here, believe it or not. Red carpet. Uh, that's in Kelowna, yeah. Hmm. He's around. He's got an area cleaning plant now. Oh. Burks again. $39 for two rooms and hallway. Carpet tech. Talks about carpet protector. Oh, nothing there. This is a coupon book. Nope. I really think these coupon books are um, a bad idea. Oh, there's Pro Steam. Yeah, they're, they advertise in every coupon thing that comes out. Yeah, I think this is a really bad way to go, but whatever. You can't market that. That's just advertising. Um, Stomatic. Hmm. Pretty interesting there. Grand opening, yeah? Hmm. He didn't stay around too long. Another coupon book. Oh, Pro Steam on the back. Usually there's another two or three carpet cleaners in there. I don't bother showing that. Gets a bit redundant, doesn't it? Just another... Uh... Who's this? Nationwide, yeah. <laughs> Actually, 
nationwide. Um, nationwide. Oh. Uh, nationwide. Uh, nationwide. Yeah. Oh, another one nationwide. And another nationwide. The same thing, only different. <laughs> oh boy. Uh, Super Steamer, the carpet cleaner. And Super Steamer, the carpet cleaner, there's a different one. No GSD. Super Steamer. No, no. Yeah, Super Steamer. Actually, one, two, three. One, two. And then a nationwide. They're all co Everybody's copying each other. You notice that? Hmm. Oh boy. Nationwide. <sighs> Nationwide. Another coupon book. Eden's duct cleaning. Let's go see what's on the other side of this one. Oh, subway. Oh. Huh. But I bet you there's there's usually at least one or two other carpet cleaners. All right, look at that. Uh, Canadian tire. Wow, eh? Hmm. And a free armchair. Yeah. First choice. Oh, boy. Golden Touch. Vince. I don't think Vince is around anymore. He was another old... Been in Kentucky a long, long time. He actually worked for Servco and then went out on his own. Married Servco's secretary and the rest is history. <laughs> Bit of a funny story there. He's a nice guy. Nice guy. Um, time. Time Global. Oh. Oh, boy. Look at this one. This is actually a phone book ad, but I thought it'd be interesting to show you that. That's a Ron Schroeder machine and whatever. Um, Lionel's Dry Foam. He was advertising our 20 cents a square foot, I guess I called them. Let's see what it says here. Um, world's leading, recommended by carpet manufacturers and all that. Yeah. Oh, hmm. Similkamine. Interesting. That's just south of me, actually. Interesting. I don't remember this guy, really. Well, well vaguely I do, I guess. Hmm. Let's see what it says on the other side here. Let's see what it says here. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Hmm. 12 years. It's funny because I don't remember seeing them around. <laughs> anyway, uh, that's phone book ad. That over there. Stomatic. I already showed you that one. Another coupon thing. Book. Um, let's see. Budget. Oh. <laughs> oh, this is funny. This guy worked for me briefly. Um, and his. <laughs> he went and bought a little machine. I fired him. He went and bought a little machine. And then he came up with this. Um, I know. I'll charge $12 a room. Yeah. He was only at it for my, I don't know, maybe a year, if that. He was a real, real... Well, he wasn't set up. Uh, he didn't have what it took to be a business guy by any means, so it's... Anyway. Serve coal again. And budget. Um, more phone book ads. Oh, Fabrizone. Okay. Well, here's something we don't see very much of. So, Faber Zone uses a bonus system, and they use ozone, but they blow the ozone around. They don't actually put it in the solution. Where uh, When I was using ozone, I actually put it into this cleaning solution, so it would actually do something. <laughs> here's the other. 
I don't know where I got this, but anyway, it was a brochure of some sort. Hmm. Um, I don't even know if they're still around. Super steamer, the carpet cleaner. Must be an ad in here somewhere. Hmm, there we go, there's one right there. And uh, affordable. Oh yeah, I actually, um, this guy was in Victoria, bonnet cleaning. And he was actually doing pretty good there for a while. And that's a phone book ad. Sears, carpet and upholstery cleaning. Sears again. Sears. Sears. And Sears. A uh, bunch of Sears there, basically say the same thing. Nothing too interesting. The Bay. I actually worked for the Bay for about a year. Um, um, the Bay, again. I uh, did actually really well working for them. I did a lot of furniture for them because I was the most experienced at it. 15 dollars per room, 13 dollars per room. Lots of uh, the bay stuff. Oh, there we go, other side. Carpet cleaning. Yeah, they uh, they went under. They um, were being operated by a company called Adler and Sons. So more, uh, these are all newspaper ads. They advertised pretty heavily for a while there. Look at the pricing, eh? <laughs> um. Well, it's funny because I don't see a name here. It's gonna be the bay. Hmm, could be, could be Eaton's. Uh, this whole pile here over here, by the way, is all Eaton's, which I, anyway, it's basically the same as the bay. Look at that, $49 for a sofa. Well, oh, I remember this ad. And then there's Zellers, which is actually still the bay. Um, Adler and Sons, just they were marketing under that name. The bay. The bay. And the bay. And the bay. And the bay. It just goes on and on and on here. But that's all I got left is the bay. But anyway. Yep, these are all the day, I believe. Oh. Uh, I think there was one more thing in here. Hang on a minute. High tech, okay. This was the mattress cleaning franchise that came along using the Kirby vacuum with the UV light on it. Yeah, kind of a scam actually, because they don't actually clean the mattress, they just vacuum it and turn on the light and but if there's any soiling or staining on the mattress, you're out of luck. Fiber Master. And, oh, here's DuraClean. So, uh, I thought that was interesting. And they use, apparently, some kind of a foam system. I don't know much about it. But I don't think they're around anymore. And here's a Mitex ad. The mattress cleaning. The 
just um, just never caught on, you know. I mean, we can all clean mattresses, but yeah, they don't actually clean them. Um, so this is interesting. This one is um, ozone as well. Ozone charged water, which is what I was using. Um, so, a little bit of information there too. And more information here. And then we have Clean Pro, which is a, I think they're gone. The franchise, I think, I believe they came out of Calgary, actually. There was a guy that was operating here, and then I, when the franchise kind of folded, he kept the, he was able to keep the name, and he operated for a few more years, and then he basically clo closed it up, clone a Clean Pro. Nice enough guy. Oh, now we're back to Sears. Okay, well that's that. Bro. That, that there's all <laughs> that's that pile of stuff there. So um, I'll do a separate video on on this um, pile right here because this is all stuff that I was a part of. But uh, I just thought for those of you who are interested in marketing, you might find some of that interesting. Maybe you'll get some ideas or whatever. But anyway, otherwise it'll just be a really boring video for most of you. Anyway, have a good day. Bye now.